I know, and, I, and we, went, we went through this, that you wanted to see some close-up, you wanted to see something small. But the problem is, uh, uh, John, that, uh, that a deck of cards, although it's easy to get on camera and is fine for you, is very, very small for the people sitting in the back, people sitting quite a ways back. Wow. And this is kind of a boring prop to use. So just to give those people something to look at while we're doing the card trick, uh -huh. I'm just going to go over here and grab another little prop, and then uh, I'll be right back. So uh, we'll just do that here. <clears throat> Watch your ass, Rosie. <laughs> Thank you, Robbie. This is uh, the other guy. This is Teller. This is my partner, Teller. What was it? John, please. Te Teller. 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 John, Teller. please. Teller. 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 Uh, and I'm going to do a card trick. And oh, don't do not be uncomfortable. God forbid we should ever make anyone uncomfortable. Teller is not holding his breath now. As you can see by the uh, bubbles coming up, the regulator in his mouth, Teller is breathing relatively comfortably through this scuba tank and will not actually stop breathing until the card trick proper begins. John, if you do one favor, take the lock that Teller has there. Leave him right. the key, but take the lock. Uh -huh. And feed it through the hasp and lock him securely in his underwater coffin of certain doom, if you'd be kind. Right. <laughs> okay. There we are. Okay. And Teller's holding a key here. He's holding the key to the, uh, to the lock and indeed, quite literally, to his life in his upstretched left hand, and has sworn on his honor mm -hmm. as a gentleman that he will not relinquish that key into these supremely skilled hands. Find your card. Right. Now, the tank was designed specifically for Teller. As you can see, there are metal bars that come down from the top that stop him from forcing his nose or mouth to the surface to breathe that glorious air that we too often take for granted. <laughs> now, for those of you who are trivia buffs, the world's record for holding one's breath on purpose, is four minutes and 35 seconds and is held, as we all know, by the great Harry Houdini. Harry Houdini, yeah. Uh, Rosie, I've not forgotten about you, but I'd like you to do is stare right at Teller's lips. And the second that regulator comes out of his mouth, the very instant he can no longer breathe, just punch that button, try to stay on your mark there. That's another part of your job. Just punch <laughs> that button there, and then just make sure it's going up. So get ready, get your thumb on the buzz, it's gonna happen very quickly. And John, if you'd be kind enough, just grab the hose there and wrench the regulator out of his lips, please. Boom, go. And Robbie, could we lose this, please? Thank you. Is it going there, Rosie? Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. Don't push it more than once. What are you doing? Don't just keep pushing it. You have to push it just once and let it be going. Okay, yeah, you've got the date on here somehow. Uh, <laughs> There, there we go. Let's just, uh... <laughs> let's just pretend, uh... Let's just pretend we're starting right there, okay? That's, uh, 16 seconds. <laughs> Little glitch, Teller, no problem. <laughs> deck of cards for you here. Okay. I'll just examine that card, make sure there's nothing unusual about him at all. Is he no, okay to you? No, looks all right. And would you open the deck, please, Yeah, Joe? give me that. Uh, okay, I'll get this for seconds. you. Nicely done, Rosie. Yeah. Nice and yeah. louder, <laughs> clearly, in the mic. Let's rip it open there. Yeah. And you might want to break the seal, too. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that that hasn't been uh, damaged at all. Just no, uh, looks okay. genuine. Wait yeah. And no, then you want to pull yeah. the deck out there, John. Okay. And uh, we'll just throw the deck on the floor. I mean, not the deck, but the box on the floor. Uh -huh. And get the advertising cards and the jokers. Lose those. A joker's on the back, I believe, John. Joker's and then get the, the cards back. a thorough shuffle. And right. take your time shuffling, John, unless you have a shred of human decency anywhere in your soul. One right. minute. Nicely done, Rosie. Right on it. Now, I have not touched the deck before now. It's my first time touching the deck. And, John, as you see, all shuffled there. There you go. There you go. Nicely, nicely shuffled, John. As you see, John, my hands are empty there. I'm just going to take the deck, and I will just fan it out and take any one card, please, John. Obviously, don't let me see it. Any one card. And then wait till my back is turned, and then hold it up so that they can see it. Would you please? He's showing the card one around, minute Teller. 30. Nicely done, Rosie. <laughs> now, John, take this magic marker and write your name across the face of the card, the side of the card that's different from all the others. <laughs> when you bring your name across there, John, please put the cap back on the marker, hand it back to me. And then hold it up so the audience can see your name on there, please, John. And I'm gonna turn around now. Please conceal the card from me, John, if you would. Conceal the card from me, good. And don't bend it, because you know if you bend it, you put a crimp and it's a little bit too easy to find. There Two we minutes. Go. Nicely done, Rosie. <laughs> Shut that right in. And again, what are we at exactly now, please? Two minutes, Rosie. six. Two, two minutes, seven. six seconds, Teller, and we be jamming. <laughs> now, uh, now we're doing some magic. Now, John, I, I know your first name and your last name, so I'm going to have to use something different. I don't know your middle name. What is that? Marwood. Mar Marwood. Marwood. Family name. Okay. Hold your hand out, please, there, John Marwood, please. 
Marwood. Okay, let me see. Uh, uh, M A R W O. Two minutes thirty. Nicely done, Rosie. <laughs> w O O D. And is that your card, John Marwood? Please, the nine of spades. Mm, no. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Marwood, you say? Family Marwood. 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 Okay, John. Okay. John Marwood, M-A-R-W-O-O-D. And is that your card, John Marwood, please? The Jack of Diamonds. Uh, uh, okay. Now, uh, I, don't, I don't... Nicely done, Rosie. I don't seem very worried, do I, John? That is because before the show, I put a card in my left-hand suit jacket pocket. Make it a little more interesting, John. I put this card in a sealed envelope. Would you read what it says? on that envelope, please. It says 6.33 p.m., mm -hmm. and it has today's date. So before the show even started. Mm -hmm. What I want you to do, John, if you believe what you read, is just rip open that envelope, pull out the card, not yet, verify that it is indeed your Three minutes card. 30. 3.30, your, your, your card, your name, and then loudly and clearly, yes, Pen, that's my card. Go. What are we at right now, Rosie? 3.37. Okay, 3.37. Go ahead, nice and loudly. Yes, Pen, that's my card. Yes, Pen, that's my card. Actually, it isn't. No, Does it matter? <laughs> Seriously, John, is it your card? No, no, somebody's written Basil on it. <laughs> uh, it's really not your card? You're not kidding? It's not definitely, it's definitely, I mean, I'll say Four it minutes. if it helps. Uh, I, I must have... Is there another card in here? Uh, I just, I, I palmed the wrong card, is what I did, John. Uh, here, just, just hold these for a second, John. Just, just hold these for a second. Mm -hmm. Tell her I palmed the wrong card, tell her, give me the key. Tell her, give me the, tell her, give me the key. Tell her, give me the, tell her, give me the goddamn key. <laughs> okay, he's right. We made a promise, we're gonna stick to it. Just hold your hand up there, please. Uh, M-A-R-W-O-O-D. Damn it to hell. Four minutes uh, 30. M -A thank you. M-A-R. You want to say 4.30? Yeah. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, <laughs> four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Congratulations, Telly, you've broken Houdini's record. M-A-R-W-O-O-D. Uh, <laughs> Let me get a running start on it. Uh, J-O-H-N-M-A-R-W-O-O-D-C-L-E-E-S-E. -E Oh, Jesus. Uh, 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 was it a black card or a red card? Black or red? It was uh, a black. Black card. Um, B L S B L A C K. It must be, okay, you had your name on it, right? It must be on the floor, John. John, it must be on the floor. Check out, check out the card. Should, 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 should I let him out? You see the cards? You see the cards? There are some back here. Excuse me. Any of the cards down here? Did you see it out? John, did you find the card there at all? Should I let him out? Did you find you the think? card? What are we at? What are we at? What are we at? 520. 520, let him out, let him out, let, let him, him out, out. John. Just, okay. just, 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 let him out. He'll just bob right up to the surface there. <laughs> just jiggle it, it's an English copy. Jiggle it, jiggle it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think it's, I don't think it's the right what key. What are we at, what are we at? 540. 540? Yeah, screw it, John, he's brain dead. <laughs> The wrong goddamn key, John. Uh, John, there's a John. Yeah. John, Six yeah. minutes. John, oh, thank you. There's a uh, John. There's a rule. There's a rule in circus that whenever someone is attempting a dangerous stunt, they themselves are responsible for their own rigging. So yes, although the yes. high wire may be set by roustabouts, it's always the walker himself that checks the final turnbuckles. So it was clearly Teller's responsibility to make sure this was the right key, and I don't think there's a court in the world. I could blame you, John, even though you locked him in and took away his only air supply. Six minutes <laughs> Thank you. I have a very important announcement to make. I would like to dedicate all the Channel 4 shows to be entitled simply The Unpleasant World of Pen <laughs> to my ex-partner. Let's gaze once again on the face of the one true hero of our generation. Ladies and gentlemen, my ex-partner, Teller. Seven minutes. And is that your card, John? The two of spades? Oh, two yes. of spades. Oh, yes. The two of spades. That's it. A little bit of, little bit of problem. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, we're going to take a... Uh,
we're going to take a, uh, a little break and stay tuned for a